Yo, Johnny Samoa is back and I'm here to teach you another awesome trick. This is Johnny Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to show you another trick that will make your friend go, what the hell? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Now, if you can do this, you can do these tricks, okay? If you can't do this, then you hold the cards in your hand and just push over that top card. So it's about that much hanging over the side like that, all right? Now, all you gotta do is drop the whole cards. Watch, one card will flip over to the side, okay? Let me show you that again. It doesn't matter what card's there. One card at the top, you push over a little bit to the side like that. When you drop the card, one card will always fall to the side. Sometimes it might, you might get that on top of the cards, might get it on the side, you might get it off the table. It doesn't matter where it is. So. How do we get into this move? How can we use this move to create a trick? Well, that's what we're here to find out. And it's very, very simple if you follow exactly what I'm saying. So at the moment, I'm telling this guy, okay, when I riffle the cards, I want you to say stop. So I riffle the card, he says stop. I give him that card to remember, and I tell him not to forget that card. You know, everyone's focusing on this card right now, but little did they know I'm doing something else with my other hand. It's all about misdirections here, right? I'm telling them to look over here and remembering while I do something else. I put his card in the middle and I give it a few false cuts here and there. I will show him that his card is not the bottom card and I take that card, put it in the middle, show him the top card and I also put that card in the middle. But whenever I turn over a jack, I always say, my name is Johnny. Then I tell him to tell him his card and focus on the floor. I throw the cards down there and voila, his card is there. Now when I riffle the cards like this, I want you to say stop. Stop, please take that card. So when they take this card, that is a nine of diamonds, okay? This is a very important part. Take that card and then you put the, these cards back on top and just take one, one card. You're holding one card now in your hand. Now they believe that you are still holding uh, half of the cards here, but little do they know you already, ooh, you are one step ahead of them. So they are looking at the card, you tell them, put your card back in the middle. So that goes there, you slam your hand on top of this card with that one card. This is a convincer when you slam. That noise makes them believe that you have more than one card, so you know. Little did they know, ha <laughs> ha, I only have one. So you slam on top and you say, I'm gonna give this a shuffle, control, make sure the card is always at the top and give it a few cuts here, the cards at the top here, hold it, one, two, three, uh, up to you, whatever you want. Now you say, okay, of course the bottom card is not your card, the top card is not your card. Now, from now here, I usually ask them, now what was your card? Uh, what was the card again? It was a nine. So when I say the nine, I tell them to, usually I hit my hand on a table like this. I want you to watch this space here. Your card will pop up from the table. Nine. So I count up to that card. For example, it's a nine. I'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, whatever. Nine. Bam! Okay. And then when this hand comes back, you, your thumb, you will push over the top card. But it happens so qu quick. Nine. See, did you see that already? And then just throw the cards down and one card will pop out of the way is a nine. Don't share this video with your friends, but what you can do is go to my Facebook page and like that page. When you like my page, I'm gonna be giving away more cards this week, okay? Follow me on Instagram, Johnny Samoa. This is Johnny Samoa saying, do something and I hope you like what I do. Yeah!